Hi everyone, we meet again. So today, I want to focus to the next part of module 7, which is output. Okay, so we are still using the same slide. Now let's continue. So this is kind of reminding for me, please use earphones or earbuds for better audio. Now, these are the objectives of uh, this video where I want to focus the type of displays and types of printers. First of all, let's look at the definition of output. So output is the data that has been processed into a useful form. The form of output uh, varies depending on the hardware and software being used and the requirements of the user. While working with a computer or mobile device, uh, a user encounters four basic types of uh, output text, graphics, audio, and videos. So as you can see in the figure 723, the four types of output that you have such as text, graphics, audio, and video. So you can read the details on the four types of output in your textbook. You can refer to page 7-22. Now let's move to the first type of output device, which are displays. So a display device or simply a display is an output device that visually uh, conveys text, graphics and video information. Most uh, current displays are a, a type of flat panel displays. As you can see in the figure 724 in your textbook, there are shows display for a variety of computers and mobile devices. Desktop often use a monitor as their display. So a monitor is a display that is packaged as a separate peripheral device. So these are the examples of displays. So many desktop monitors along with the screen on mobile computers and devices use some type of LCD technology. An LCD or popularly known as liquid crystal display said which is a liquid uh, compound between two sheets of material that present sharp flicker free images on a screen when illuminated. So the light source called the backlight Often it uses either CCFL or cool cathode fluorescent lamp or LED or light emitting diode technology. So how can you measure the quality of your display? So the quality of the display depends primarily on its resolution, response time, brightness, dot pitch, as well as contrast ratio. Now let's look at the detail on this type type of quality issue. First, resolution. So resolution is the number of horizontal and vertical pixels in the display. So a higher resolution uses a greater number of pixels and thus provide a smoother, sharper and clearer image. So as the resolution increases, some items on the screen might appear smaller. For response time, it is the display which refers to the time in milliseconds that it takes to turn a pixel on or off. The lower the number, the faster the response time. Brightness, however, is measured in nits. A nit is a unit of visible light intensity which is equal to 1 candela per square meter. So, the higher the nits, the brighter the images. Dot pitch, sometimes called pixel pitch, is the distance in millimeters between pixel on a display. Text printed with a smaller dot pitch is easier to read. So the lower the number, the sharper the image. Last but not least, the contrast ratio. Contrast ratio describes the difference in light intensity between the brightness white and darkest black that can be produced on the display. So the highest contrast ratio will present color better. So to display uh, the highest quality images, the monitor should plug in a DVI port 
an HDMI port or maybe a display port. Home users sometimes use a digital television or DTV as a display. Gamers also use a television as their output device. You have, you have another type of a display which are HDTV or high definition television which is the most advanced form of digital television that working with digital broadcast signals, transmitting digital sounds, supporting wide screens and provide high resolution. The latest display is a smart TV. A smart TV is an internet enabled HD TV from which you can browse the web, stream the video from online media services, listen to internet radio, communicate with other on online social media, play online games and more all while watching a television show so this is an example of display okay now let's continue with printer a printer is an output device that uh, produces text and uh, graphics on a physical medium such as paper so these are the list that you need to ask yourself before you purchase a printer So we have two types uh, of printer, non-impact and impact printer. So my plan today, I plan to cover on the non-impact printer first. So for impact printer, we will be covered in the next video. So a non-impact printer forms characters and graphics on a piece of paper without actually contacting the paper. So the commonly used non-impact printers are inkjet printers, photo printers, laser printers, all-in-one, 3D printers, thermal printers, mobile printers, label printers, plotters, as well as large format printers. First is inkjet printer. So an inkjet printer is a type of non-impact printer that forms our characters and graphics by spraying tiny drops of liquid ink onto a piece of paper. This kind of printer will produce text and graphics in both black and white and color on a variety of paper type and sizes. The speed of an inkjet printer is measured by the number of pages per minute it can print. Then we have a photo printer. A photo printer is a color printer that produces clad quality photos. Generally, the more sizes the printer, uh, printer prints, the more expensive the printer. So many photo printers use inkjet technology. Then we have a laser printer. Laser printer is high speed, high quality, non impact printer. Normally they are available in both black and white and color models. A laser printer will print text and graphics in high quality resolutions. Okay, and laser printer will usually print at faster speed than inkjet printer. So when a printing when printing a document, this kind of printer will process and store the entire page before they actually print it. So for this reason, laser printer are called a page printer. Store a page before printer requires that the laser printer has a certain amount of memory in the device. So the mem more memory in the printer, the faster it easily can print. So these are the example of a laser printer. Then we have all-in-one printer, also called a multi-function printer. It is a single device that looks like a print printer or a copy machine but provides the functionality of a printer, scanner, copy machine and perhaps a fax machine. This is a new 3D printer. A 3D printer uses a process called additive manufacturing to print an object by adding material to a three-dimensional object one horizontal layer at a time. A 3D printer can print solid objects such as clothing, prosthetics, eyewear, implants, toys, parts, prototypes, and more. So as you can see in figure, figure 7, 33. Next, we have a thermal printer. A thermal printer will generate images by pushing electrically heated prints against heat sensitive paper. Basic thermal printers are inexpensive, but the print quality is low. The images tend to fade over time, and thermal paper can be expensive. Some thermal printers, however, have high print quality and can print at much faster rates than inkjet and laser printers. 
such as this kind of dye sublimation syndrome. So we will continue with the next part of this video. Okay, so make sure you stay with me. Bye, see you again.